during the course of their life, uh, commercial batteries have to face a lot of uh, challenges, electrifications of fleets, uh, electrical heating or dynamic energy tariffs. What do they have to uh, manage in the technology and what have installers to know about it? This is what we want to learn now. I'm here at the booth of Fenecon with Franz Josef Feilmeier, the CEO. First of all, congratulations. Thank you very much. Two awards yesterday, <laughs> EM Power Awards and uh, EE's S Award. So how is this for, the, for you? Did you have a big party? Not that much because we still have to go for three days at the exhibition, have many meetings here. Uh, but yes, we're so proud on having those two awards and having uh, this uh, recognizing of our innovations. Yeah, the booth is crowded from the beginning, so it's a lot of work to do. You're here presenting energy journey of a commercial storage. What does it mean? Yeah, very important for us to show our experience because initially we also thought a storage system is in the basement of a house or in the company doing PVR on consumption or peak shaving and doing this for 20 years. But the fact is the, the reality that the systems change. Uh, life is a journey and energy is also a journey. A storage system is not the end of a project, but it's the start of this journey, which we showed here. It starts with PV and storage, uh, but then typically uh, charging stations, heat pumps come into it, dynamic energy prices, maybe additional charging points, especially in companies. Um, maybe then additional PV systems are built. The system grows in capacity. So that's what a storage system has to be able to go through this energy journey. So it's living like the company, yeah, and the people of the company. And what does the technology must fulfill to meet these challenges? The concept of the product must be the, to be the companion of this journey. So to really understand this as the task uh, to go through this journey, which means capacity needs to be expandable uh, in uh, strings, in parallel, in clustering, but also the power of the system, um, and especially the applications, what the system is doing itself, um, maybe to combine it with other storage systems, but also to combine it with manageable loads uh, like uh, charging points um, and uh, the dynamic energy prices from the grid. So this all has to be in the concept and it only works in open platforms. If it would be a closed concept, um, it would be end of a, a dead end road. Um, but in an open concept like open EMS platform, it works and then you can implement the applications just by activating the apps as a smartphone. Uh -huh. Commercial segment of storage is uh, rising and growing. Do you feel like that? Do you get the message from the market? Absolutely. Commercial systems are now growing extremely. Um, and um, the main reason in the commercial segment is um, that now the electric fleets are coming. Um, and um, as the grid is always certainly limited with the cable uh, and the power which can go through, um, we now need to um, not only think of bigger cables for more power at the same time, but to have the additional dimension of time to it, which comes through storage and energy management. Um, and this is especially important for charging parks um, as they grow by time, uh, heating coming into it, electricity prices, dynamic prices coming from outside. Um, that's why commercial storage systems are quite um, attractive right now. Uh -huh. The economic side of commercial storage is very special. It's not the same as a uh, residential uh, uh, storage, for instance. So you got the EM Power Award for a rental solution. So that's fascinating for the installers too. So the company doesn't have to buy it. It can rent it or lease it. Can you explain it to me? Yes, um, the business cases in a commercial application are typically not planable for 15 or 20 years because companies are changing, charging parts are growing and the other factors coming in. Um, and of course, the customers can buy the system and buying always means financing, activating, taking care of service, maintenance, but also end of life issues, which are sometimes a hurdle and it's not in the core business of the companies. Uh, so some of them prefer to rent the system, which is then just a certain percentage of the purchasing price payable by month or year, for example, and then after the rental period, you can choose if you proceed with the same system or switch to another system. So exactly as we know it from uh, leasing cars, we now uh, made it possible for storage systems. And the advantage on our side is 
We're working with electric vehicle batteries for the systems. And for rental systems, we can also work with used batteries because they nobody needs to buy them. We take the responsibility. And as long as they are perfect for the period to be used, um, it's the perfect solution for rental. And it makes the whole thing cheaper and more economic for the customer. Uh -huh. Thank you very much for the inspiring CEO talk. You're very short of time. Many people are waiting to congratulate you and to talk to you. Thank you, Franz Josef Feiermeyer. Thank you I very much. I wish you a good fair and a good... See you here next time, next year. Next year, maybe. <laughs> I hope so. Yeah.